What's up, family? Good evening, good evening, good evening. Good afternoon, good morning. Whatever it is, whenever it is, you are sharing on Grace Reloaded. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Man, what an awesome, wonderful day the Lord has given unto us today. And we know that each and every one of you, uh, you've been blessed throughout this day. Amen. So God bless you as you come on this evening. Amen. Good evening, good evening, hey, Amen. Cheryl, God bless you. Yeah. Good evening, good evening. Elder Ruffin, the one and only Elder Ruffin. Good evening, good evening. Jessica, God bless you. Elder Bobby, Elder Margie, good evening, good evening, good evening, family. Good evening. I hope you guys are nice and dry. I know it's been a lot of rain today. Amen. But the Lord is still good even in the midst of the rain. Hallelujah. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Sharon, God bless you. God bless you. Hey, Mama. God bless you. Good evening. Georgiana. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Now, as you guys are coming on, y'all know what to do. Amen. Let's like the stream. Let's share it. Amen. Tag somebody in. Tag a family member, a friend. Amen. Amen. Come on, family. Make sure that you do that as you're coming on. Chaney Bree. Good evening, Chaney. Hallelujah. Today is going to be somewhat of a, a refresher. Yeah, it's going to be a refresher. Amen. Uh, we got to connect the dots. Make sure that we're not forgetting what the Lord has spoken to us for this awesome year of uh, 2024. What's up, Jim? Good evening to you. Deacon Stovall. Amen. The one and only Deacon Kelvin Stovall. Yeah, we are. We are. We're connecting the dots tonight. We are connecting the dots. We we we're going in a in 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 what appears to be a different direction. But 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 you know, the Lord told me said you know just pause for a moment and connect the dots so that everyone can know that we're still on the same page. We we haven't shifted. We haven't gotten off of the. Um, uh, the, the road that, that the Lord put us on in the beginning of the year. We're still on that same road. And it's just important that we get off the road there again. Amen. Hey, 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 hey. Mother Foster, God bless you. Connecting the dots. You see the big picture. Amen. Lady Joan, good evening to you. Amen. Deacon Anthony. Bless you, sir. Come on, guys. Let's let's go ahead and take someone in. Um, we're gonna get started here in about in about two minutes. Hallelujah. Go ahead and tag in your family members and your friends um, as we get started on this evening. I really believe this is going to be uh, really really good today. I, I know that uh, that you all are going to be blessed in and through the sharing on today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's it, family. Just continue to come on in. Continue to uh, to tag your friends, your family members, get them in as well. And um, we're going to go ahead and get started and use the time that God has given unto us wisely. Amen. Amen and amen. Amen. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening to each and every one of you. 
we greet all of you today in the name that is above every name. And that, of course, is the name of Jesus, for it is in him that we live. It is in him that we move. It is in him that we uh, have our being. Amen. Yes. Amen. And we're just excited today um, about all that God is doing. He's a good God. Oh, yes, he is. He is an amazing. Hallelujah. He is an amazing God. That is why we we continue to bless him. That's why we continue to praise him. Uh, that is why we continue to lift up and magnify his name. Amen. Uh, amen and amen. Listen, do us a favor this evening. Uh, even as you guys are coming on, let's make sure that that we are tagging in our family members and our friends. What's up, Justin? Uh, Deacon, Deacon, Deacon Richard Scott. God bless you. Bishop Pierce. Bless you, sir. Amen. Seneca. Good evening, God bless you. Good evening. Good Amen. evening. Uh, good evening to each and every one of you. I, I, I thank God. I really do. I thank God for uh, for his amazing, his amazing protection uh, that he has manifested in our lives on today. You know, we had a little inclement weather. Yes. And um, and the Lord just protected us and covered us uh, as he as he always does. He is such a faithful God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is such a faithful God. And he just happens to be our daddy. Amen. <laughs> we are praying for um, our family members in the Slidell area. Yeah. Yeah. In the Slidell area. Yeah. Uh, we do know that. Um, uh, they did experience um, tornado in that area. Yeah, that Amen. And, and Amen. Amen. And we're, we're just believing God again, even for uh, for their safety, for their quick recovery. Amen. 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 And um, all is well Amen. Uh, with no them. Lost. Glory to God. No life. No life Amen. loss. And we we thank God. We really, really do. Mm -hmm. uh, we thank God for that. Amen. Listen, we we want to we want to get um, we want to uh, jump right into this this evening. Um, I, I was I was actually um, I was on a treadmill today, and um, while while I was while I was on a treadmill, mm -hmm. you know the Lord the Lord uh, told me He said, "Son," He said, "Pause for a moment and connect the dots." Mm -hmm. When when He said that, I knew exactly what He was talking about. I, I knew He wasn't talking about you know me pausing my workout. Amen. <laughs> I, kn I knew exactly what He was talking about mm -hmm. uh, when He when He said that we are to pause for a moment. And 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 um and and connect the dots. Um, I, I I I thank God because um, in this season it's not just it's not just about throwing out throwing out a bunch of information, mm -hmm. uh, but but it's about getting and and obtaining revelation that will that will assist us that will assist us as we as we possess the harvest that God has already promised oh, through, yeah. listen to this, as we possess the harvest that he has promised mm -hmm. through the warfare that manifests in the midst of yes, this sir. process. Yes, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We, we, we've, we've declared, of course, uh, by, by the spirit of revelation, we declared uh, that this year is, of course, uh, the year of the sword, 2024, uh, we know uh, it is the year of the sword, oh, yes, and um, and and that's so important. It's so important because you know um, the Lord said to us. Um, I think it was back in in the end of November or the beginning of December uh, in 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 2023. The Lord said to us that that this year, this year, uh, we'll see the manifested blessings and victory that has been provided by God. But we'll see it as we speak consistently according to what God says, and as we continue to, to pray, pray in, in the spirit. spirit. We understand that 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 by doing those two things, what we're actually doing is we are releasing the yes. power of the sword. Yes, sir. We're releasing the power of the sword. Now, you know, we 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 know we know that that this sword is important. It's so important in this season. It really is. It is it is so important in this season because of where God has us. Mm -hmm. um, he he spoke to us back in um, October. October was right after uh, right after um, Hamas mm -hmm. invaded 
um, invaded Israel. Yes, sir. The Lord spoke to us and, and he said to us that we're in this season of harvest. Mm -hmm. And he said that the harvest would attract warfare. Mm -hmm. We saw that, I believe, in Isaiah 50, uh, 45, I believe it is. I don't want to go there right now, but, but we understand that we are in the season of harvest. The harvest, of course, it, it always attracts warfare, yes, but but it's so important. It's so important that even as we move on and even as we begin to talk about other things throughout this year, it, it, it's so important that we see the connection and understand that it all fits together uh, like a hand in a glove. So, so this year Amen. is the year of harvest. I, I need us to declare that we haven't we haven't said that in quite a while. Um, so so let's declare that this evening. Yes, um, come on, let's just put the word harvest. Amen. Come on, family, this is so important. Put the word harvest uh, there there in the comments on this evening. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, let let's put that word let's harvest. It. Let's declare it. Let's decree it. Hallelujah. And and <laughs> come on, let's let's declare it. That's it. Yeah. That's it, Shaney. That's it, Deacon John. Bless you, sir. Amen. Harvest. Harvest. Come I'm on, y'all. I'm it since I can't declare it. Amen. No, no, matter, no matter what happens in our lives in this season, mm -hmm. we cannot forget, we cannot forget that this is a year of harvest. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, y'all. E even when that warfare shows up, even when the warfare shows up, you know, one 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 of my one of our our our, our spiritual sons reached out to me today um, mm -hmm. uh, because because of some warfare because of some warfare that 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 he was actually dealing with mm -hmm. and um, and you know while 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 he and I were talking the spirit of God reminded me to remind him yeah, right. that 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 son this is a season of harvest. So, so when you Hallelujah. see the warfare, that's, right. that's not the time to panic that's right. because understand that the warfare that we engage in is not warfare where, um, that's it. Y'all still putting that harvest Amen. out there. Amen. To God. Come on, y'all. That's it. Declare it. Hallelujah. What's up, Jerome? Bless you, sir. Harvest. Come on. Let's declare it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on. Continue to declare it. Mm. See, 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 it's so important. I, I, I had to remind, I had to remind um, um, our spiritual son, that mm -hmm. son, when you see the, the warfare, the, the, the enemy's agenda is to get you to put your eyes on the warfare and forget about, about the, the harvest. harvest. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No, the warfare is an indication. It is an indication that your harvest is getting ready to manifest. to manifest. Amen. Hallelujah. Whatever it is you're believing God for. Whatever it is. It's your harvest. Whatever it is you're believing God for, that's, right. that, that's your harvest. That's your harvest. And, and when you see um, unexpected warfare mm -hmm. that pops up, that that is an indication. Please hear me today. That is an indication that you are closer to the manifestation Hallelujah. of your harvest Amen. than you've ever been. That's right. Now, 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 this warfare that we deal with, we must understand that we deal with it not from the same perspective as the world. Mm -hmm. The world fights for victory. We fight from a, a place, place of victory. Hallelujah. We already win. Hmm. Hallelujah. Yes. Come on, y'all. We, we, we already win. We start off in victory. That's right. Come on, let's let's throw that out there tonight as well. <laughs> Amen. Come on, let's throw the word victory out there. All capital letters. Amen. All capital letters. Hallelujah. We, we, it we, is a finished work. It's a finished work. Glory to God. It's a finished work. Yes, we have to walk through the process. That's right. But the victory, the victory is already ours. Hallelujah. 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 Now, 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 understand. Understand what, what's what's so unique. What's so unique about this harvest? And I, I think it's important that we understand this. The the unique thing about the harvest is that the harvest cannot be reaped by man. Mm -hmm. We understand that 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 the harvest is ours, 
but the harvest cannot be reaped by man. The reaping of the harvest is the job of God's angels. Yes, it's the job of the angels. Hallelujah. Come on, y'all. Amen. 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 It's the job of his angels. Hallelujah. Look, look, look at what the Bible says in, in um, Matthews, Matthews chapter 13, mm-hmm. beginning at, at verse number 30, um, 37. Okay. The Bible says in verse uh, 37 of that 13th chapter, the word of God says, he answered and said to them, he who sows the good seed is the son of man. The field is the world. The good seeds are the kingdom, uh, no, the good seeds are the sons of the kingdom, but the tares are the sons of the wicked. This, of course, is the parable that Jesus told. Um, he, he's interpreting it now, but it's a, the parable about the um, the wheat and, and the, the tares. tares. Right. And, and he says, he says in verse 39, the enemy who sowed the tares is the devil. And then he says something that is extremely important for us. And that is, he says, the harvest is the end of the age and the reapers, the reapers of the harvest are the angels. Amen. Amen. We we, we must understand that the reaping of the harvest, it is not our job. It is the job of the, the angels. angels. Now, 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 why, why is that? Why is that so important? Mm-hmm. Well, that that's important because when we speak in yeah. line, talking about the sword, that's remember right. speaking consistently uh, uh, in agreement with God's word, mm-hmm. praying in the spirit. Though those are the methods in which we release the power of the sword, and we understand that the sword. It is the only offensive weapon that God has given unto us to manifest the victory that we already have in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. So so as we are speaking consistently in agreement with what God says in his word, as we are praying in the spirit, yes, sir. not only are we releasing the power of the sword, but we are also activating the activity of the reapers of the harvest. That's right, because they hearken to. They hearken to. The word they of hearken Lord. to the, the 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 word of God. Amen. They they heed. They heed. That's the word I like. Yeah. They they <laughs> heed yes. the word of God. Hallelujah. In, in, in other words, in other words, listen, family. This is so important. Yes. And, and and we're gonna connect the dots in a minute, uh, uh, because we've talked about this. And um, I remember, I remember a um, few months ago, several weeks ago, uh, the, the Lord had me when we were talking and teaching on this, the, the Lord had me to make a statement that he brought back to my, my memory um, mm-hmm. on today. And, and the statement that I made was that by the time we are out of the first quarter of the year. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I made the statement that by the time we we leave the first quarter of the year, we will be experts in 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 wielding Amen. our sword. Amen. We will be experts in in speaking in line Hallelujah. with what God says Lord and God. and praying in the spirit, both which releases the power of the sword. Yes. So 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 the Lord brought that back to my 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 memory because of course um the end of March is the end of the third first quarter was the end of the first quarter that's right that was the end of the first quarter that's right and 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 what the Lord says is that is that many of us many of us at this point are much more effective that's good. in Amen. saying what God says and in praying in the spirit than we were when we started this about three months ago. Amen. The people of God are growing. And, and as you are speaking, please hear me. I need you to know and understand what's happening here because as you are speaking, okay. as you are saying what God says, as you are praying in the spirit, you are releasing the power of the sword, but you are also, you are also um, what's the word I'm looking for? You are activating. Activating That's angelic it. assistance. You are activating angelic 
assistance. Hallelujah. In other words, you are causing the reapers of your harvest Amen. to go out and bring back that which God Hallelujah. has already given unto you Glory through the God. finished work. Amen. Hallelujah. And those uh, angels are powerful. Oh, those angels are powerful. Right. Massive in size and they 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 are strong they, in strength. Yeah. They, they are amazing. Yes. They are amazing. Hallelujah. They they really are. They are amazing. And 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 as you as you speak, as you and I speak in line with what God has said, as we speak in line with what God has said, we are we are activating that angelic that Hallelujah. angelic activity. You know that 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 blesses me because um we we um. You know, I, I, we we listen we listen to uh, 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 Prophet uh, Clarence McClendon. Yes, sir. And um, man, he released he released such a powerful such a powerful revelation uh, just just last week. Mm -hmm. um, uh, even when he talked about how how when when Jesus was in the grave, how how when that earthquake came, the Bible talks about the earthquake that that came, and when that earthquake came, mm -hmm. the Bible says the angel then rolled away, rolled away the stone That's in right. order to allow the individuals to look in the tomb right. and to see he, that Jesus has resurrected. He's no he, here. he didn't listen, listen, he did not, the angel, the angel did not roll away that stone in order to let Jesus out. That's right. Come on, y'all. That don't even make sense. Right. When Jesus was resurrected, Jesus could walk through walls. Hallelujah. Y'all remember they were in the they were in the room uh with all of the doors locked for That's fear right. and Jesus just showed up. Right. So so he did not need the stone to be removed so that he, he could, could get out of the grave. That's right. He needed the That's stone right. to be removed. The angels rolled that stone away in order to so sh to show those individuals that Jesus had actually resurrected Hallelujah. and 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 what what prophet mcclendon said was that was that that Hallelujah. earthquake that earthquake was an indication it was an indication that that the angels had invaded the atmosphere Amen. and they invaded the My atmosphere God. listen to this listen to it they invaded the atmosphere in order to remove any obstacle that will stop people from seeing that Jesus is really resurrected. So 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 as we see now earthquakes earthquakes happening in different places these earthquakes are indications that the angelic beings are invading the atmosphere they are invading the atmosphere and they are invading the atmosphere in order to assist us in order to remove any obstacle that will stop or prohibit them individuals from knowing that jesus is resurrected Amen. so 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 why are you saying all of that bishop i'm saying it for this reason i'm saying it because the lord has instructed us to say what God has said, to pray in the spirit, those an angelic beings, those angels that, that have invaded the atmosphere that are here with us right now, right now, as we are speaking in line with what God has said, those angels are at work. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They are at work on our behalf. See, Amen. That's why I don't waste my words. Well, 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 you see, you see, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta understand that 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 who man, when we Lord are when God. we when we are speaking, when we are saying what God has said, that's right. When we are set, these angels are here, and 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 notice they're here to remove any obstacle. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. They are here to remove any obstacle that will prohibit people from seeing that Jesus has resurrected from the grave. Amen. As I was saying that the Holy Spirit was bringing back to my remembrance, uh, one of the things that he said to us um, through, through our Psalm 133, when he began to talk about us being uh, uh, individuals who are um, uh, uh, in unified rest. Yes. 
Yes, one of the things he said was that our lives, our lives will be a testimony of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Amen. So what is God saying? The angelic beings that 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 have that have invaded the atmosphere. Listen, listen to me now. These angelic beings that have invaded the atmosphere as they have invaded the atmosphere, they've come to remove any obstacles that will prohibit individuals from seeing that Jesus wow. has resurrected. God says that our lives in this season will be a testimony to the resurrection of Jesus Christ. What are you saying? What I'm saying is that these angels that are here to remove the obstacles, these angels are here to assist in making sure that every blessing of God that is spoken over our lives, that they manifest because in our blessings manifesting, individuals will know that is not because we have it That's going right. on. That's it's right. not because we are so smart or so gifted. It's only because we serve the resurrected Savior. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, so the obstacles that the angels are moving, they are obstacles that, that prevent our lives from being blessed. Amen. They, they are obstacles that prevent us from manifesting healing, mm -hmm. from manifesting peace, mm -hmm. from manifesting the strength and the, 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 the provisions of God. Those obstacles will be removed by the angels. Hallelujah. So when individuals look at our lives, they will know that, yes, Jesus has resurrected. Amen. That's powerful. That is powerful because these uh, acts of... Um, Deliverance, I should say, are going to be done supernaturally. They they are done supernaturally. Yeah. They they are done supernaturally. Yeah. So 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 the point the point that we're making the point uh, that we're yeah. making this evening is this: it is so important in, in in this season that we are saying what God has said. That's right. Please hear me. Regardless to what you see in the natural, it is so important that we continue to say what God has said. Now, now, now I know, I know the question. Mm -hmm. I know the question that many of you would have. And, and, and if I were, if I were on that end of the line, I'd probably be asking the same question. And, um, and, and that question is this, well, well, Bishop, we've been talking about this being the year of the sword mm -hmm. and, and, and that we should be speaking that we must speak according to what God has said, and we must continue to pray in the spirit. Mm -hmm. So, 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 my question now would be: How does how does what what we've been talking about, what we've been teaching on over the last few weeks, how how does that have anything to do with with releasing the power of the sword? Because we've been talking about, you know, the Lord, the Lord brought us back. The Lord brought us back to um, he brought us back to Second Chronicles, chapter number seven. Um, and, 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 and the Lord said to us, uh, he said to us that, you know, this this is the text that we talked about 14 years ago when we were literally dedicating uh, uh, the sanctuary. sanctuary. Okay. We were we were dedicating we were dedicating the sanctuary 14 years ago, mm -hmm. and 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 the Lord the Lord had us to revisit. He had us to revisit that particular text, and he had us to revisit that text during the same time 14 years later right. that we that we did it back then. That's right. So As we celebrate this 21st year. Yeah, right. As we celebrated this 21st year. I, I need y'all to see this mm -hmm. because, because he said, I'm causing you guys to revisit this because everything that was spoken throughout that 21 day celebration 14 years ago, everything that was spoken back then mm -hmm. is in full manifestation right now. Right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is in full manifestation right now. It is. So, 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 so again, here's the question. Mm -hmm. how, how, how does 
what we've been talking about. How does that have anything to do with the sword? Well, I'll tell you how. <clears throat> the way that it's all connected mm -hmm. is that with God, the way God has, 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 has worked with us mm -hmm. is that in the first three months, what he did for us is he encouraged us to hold on to our sword. Hallelujah. Hold on Hallelujah. to the sword. That's right. Speak only that which I have spoken That's right. while praying in the spirit. Mm -hmm. Come on, y'all. Let's declare that tonight. Hold on to your sword. Amen. Come on. Let's let, let's 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 yeah. Let, let's 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 remind ourselves. Come on. Hold on to your sword. Come on, family. Let's declare that. Hold on to your sword. Hold on to your sword. Mm -hmm. Everything, man. Everything that we spoke 14 years ago is in full manifestation, manifestation. right now. Right. G give, give us give us five minutes. We're gonna connect the dots. Amen. We're gonna connect the dots. We, we, the better spirit clarity, of clarity, a better understanding of what was said 14 years uh, ago. Yeah, back then, back then we we had no understanding. <laughs> you said not no, no understanding. No sense of, well, you know, I mean, because 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 back then, back back then when we when we spoke all of that. I was I was speaking I was speaking I was seeing everything through the lenses of a mixed doctrine. Yes, sir. So 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 much of what I was saying back then, it was being said based upon old covenant principles, and 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 what the Lord has done now is He has given us revelation of of the new covenant, the new covenant of grace. And in doing so, he has now confirmed that everything we spoke back then, though we did not have full revelation of what we were speaking. Right. <laughs> Hallelujah. Exactly. Yeah, that's just how amazing God is. Right. Have he you, kept us. He, he, he have us speaking, and we don't know what we're talking about. Right. But 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 it because we were speaking what he told us to speak, here it is now, 14 years later. It's manifested. Yes. It's manifested. Hallelujah. So so here's the point. Here's the point, y'all. What is all of this? How, how does how does all of this connect? Well, what God did the first three months mm -hmm. is is he he encouraged us to hold mm -hmm. on to our sword. That's right. And now what he is doing, see, because the sword is 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 speaking. The power of the sword is speaking uh, is is released rather through saying, speaking consistently in line with what God says. So, so, so now with, who? Oh, thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. It, it, notice y'all, it's speaking in line, not just with what God said mm -hmm. in the past. It's speaking in line with what God is saying right now. Amen. Because, because God is, right. is saying some things right now. He is, he is revealing things right now and as he reveals those things to us what he is doing is he is equipping us mm -hmm. he is giving us what to say he is telling us what we need to be saying in this season mm -hmm. that lines up with what he has said in order that the power of the sword be manifested in our lives amen hallelujah hallelujah it, it, can y'all see that? Yeah. So as we studied Solomon's prayer, mm -hmm. those are, I think I heard you say uh, we covered two out of seven. We right? we covered two, but but it goes even it goes even before that. Okay. Because the first thing that the Lord said to us, if y'all remember, the first thing the Lord said to us as it as it relates to um, as it relates to uh, um, uh, Solomon's prayer. So, well, no, no, not necessarily Solomon's prayer, oh. because because before the prayer. Um, well, after the prayer, after the prayer, he he uh, the fire, the fire of his judgment fell. Okay. But the first thing he said to us was that he his desire was for our house to to be a place for his abiding glory. Yes. So 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 God says Amen. that everything that he said, this was 14 years ago. I pulled that from my notes 14 right. years oh, ago. Yeah. So so 14 years ago, the Lord said that our house would be a place for his abiding glory. And, and he says, the reason that the glory would abide is because our house has been designated as a place that centers, that centers on the finished work, work of Jesus Christ. Amen. So, so, so he says Hallelujah right now, 
please hear me, family. Right now, our house, our church, our temple is a place where the glory of God abides, right. but not just the physical temple, mm -hmm. our bodies. That's right. Know ye not That's right. that your body right. is the, the temple, temple of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. So what, what is God doing? He's telling us what to say. He's telling us that in this season, we ought to be declaring that the glory of the Lord is on my life. Amen. Hallelujah. We, we, we ought to be declaring that, that, Father, I thank you that my temple is filled with your glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Before you walk out the door. It, 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 all throughout your day. Oh, no, you, you, right. Yeah, you, you, you ought to be, you, <coughs> you and I, we ought to be declaring that, 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 Father, I thank you that that your goodness the goodness that that is attached to your name Amen. that that is that is manifested because you love me and because of your grace I thank you that that glory that goodness is in and manifesting and seen through my life Amen Hallelujah, Hallelujah. He's telling us what to say I know I do it before I leave home Amen what what what, what about when you are home all day Um well, of course, I am. You know, no, it's, no, no, no. I'm, I'm trying to. You know, it, it's not just about. Is you? We we need to know this glory is not just for us being out in the street. Mm -hmm. This glory is for us to live with. Amen. I guess I build myself up before I leave the house so that the countenance, the glory of the Lord, would be upon my countenance. That's something it's, that it, I see. Yes. Uh, okay, okay. I'm, a, I'm. I ain't gonna mess with you. <laughs> Amen. Amen. It, it's already there. Right. Amen. It's already there. We we don't have to build ourselves up. We don't have to, you know, no, no, no. We don't have to perform no ritual in order before I leave my house. No, no, no. We live with the glory. Amen. So so as I when I'm when I'm praying, as the Lord, as the Lord, as the Lord leads me in my prayer, Father, I thank you Hallelujah. that the glory of the Lord abides upon me. I thank you. He's telling us what we ought to be saying yes, in sir. this season. Mm -hmm. He and 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 and, and um, he he's 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 doing it. He's doing it in such a way that that he's literally he's literally giving us um, ammunition. <laughs> That's what he's doing. He's giving. Absolutely. He's telling he's telling us what we ought to say in this season in order to in order to deal with the Absolutely. darkness that's right that is in this world that's right the darkness that is covering that's the people the of this world that's right hallelujah. hallelujah in the midst of all of that darkness father i thank you right. that the light of your glory is upon me hallelujah, hallelujah. amen all in lows hmm? i say all in lows i say things like that to amen. myself and before you know it amen Amen. And we're having a conversation and praising the Lord. So, 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 so here, here's, here's the deal. Here's the deal, family. What God is doing right now, this is why it's so important that we pay close attention to yes. what is being released as God confirms that that which I spoke 14 years ago, when you hear these things, mm -hmm. when you hear it, you receive it, not just as something that's happening in our church, you no, know, right. we are the church. That's right. It's happening in us. Hallelujah. So, so when we say when we say that that this is a place where God's glory abide, what we're saying is we are the people of God. Right. Where God's glory abide. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, y'all. Glory to God. Come on, y'all. His Amen. glory abides on you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And, and 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 see 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 this this is why I was messing with you. This is why I was messing with you. No, no, be, and, and you know. All you know. right, come on, tell me why. Because, because he said that it is his desire that that our house, our temple, be a place for his abiding glory. Yes, sir. It's not right. glory that right. just comes when I go right. here or go there. Right. No, this is glory that I have when I'm all by myself. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This, this is glory that I have. When 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 I'm when I'm doing the the the, the most menial task, task yeah. Hallelujah, yeah. I, I do it with the glory of the Lord upon me. 
Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's how he wants us talking. That's right. Are you, are you, that makes sense. Yeah, of course. Yeah. See, see, I, and, and and I, you know, we we we're teaching together, so mm -hmm. so so you know, I, I'll take things like that because right. I know and people, elaborate. Yeah, because I, I want the people to see that. Yeah. And to know that no, you don't just wait until you're going somewhere. Mm -hmm. Don't just wait until you're in a certain place. Make this a part of your lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Now it's good to do it when you're in places like that yeah it's good to declare what's on your life mm -hmm. but 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 do it all the time don't just wait till you're in a certain situation around certain people no 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 when you're by yourself thank him that your glory is the glory of the lord is upon you amen hallelujah yeah and, because and, deep darkness covers oh the you, people and you, darkness covers the world you so, better know it right so you, you better have know to it be filled with the light we of are the lord you know, as you enter the we, world, we are filled with the yeah. light of the Lord. Yeah, as you we have enter. to be. You should be. Yes. We we are. We are. Yes. Yeah, we are. <laughs> well, for people who are not, they should be. No, we we are. <laughs> All right. We new creations in Christ. We are. We are. Amen. Amen. But but then 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 we talked about. Um, see, all this fits. Mm -hmm. All this fits when you understand when you can connect the dots. See, see, he 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 told us to hold on to the sword. Now he's given us different elements and he's going to be doing this. He's going to be doing this throughout the rest of this year. Mm -hmm. He's going to be, he's going to, he's going to be doing this even as it relates to praying in the spirit. There are some things that the Lord is, 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 is bringing us back to as it relates to praying in the spirit. Some things that, that manifest as we pray in the spirit that we've not talked about yet. And, and as we, as we talk about those, what he's doing again is he's 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 filling up our our repertoire so that so that we we have we know that that I'm praying in the spirit now and and rivers of living water are flowing out of me. Yes, Sometimes right. as I'm praying in the spirit, the Holy Ghost will the Holy Spirit will say to me, right now I'm repairing your body. Yes, sir. you know. Sometimes Hallelujah. I'm praying. That's he true. says, "I'm refreshing you and giving yeah. you peace." That's right. So, so, so there's so Hallelujah. many different facets yes, to indeed. speaking in line with what God says and praying in the spirit. Hallelujah. See that? Oh yeah. Amen. Amen. Oh, so, oh, so, 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 um, so he says, powerful sword. Yeah, the, the sword is so powerful, <laughs> and and it's you know it's just so important that we understand, y'all. No, we haven't put the sword down. Right. No, no, no. What we are doing is now we are adding. We know the value now of speaking, but now he's telling us what to speak. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. He's telling us to go forth and declare that the glory of God, the goodness of God that is attached to his names, they, it is upon me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And, and, and then he started talking about, uh, we talked about so, uh, Solomon's blessing. Mm -hmm. the blessing of solomon yes and God. and and we discovered we discovered that the blessing of solomon is a blessing of rest of rest and and um you know that's that's first kings uh first kings chapter number eight mm -hmm. um uh, verses 54 through 61 uh we we discovered that the blessing of solomon is a blessing of rest this is something else that we spoke over we spoke this over um over the 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 family 14 years, years ago, ago in 2010 2010 we've been and, resting since 2010 and the law well <laughs> well we weren't we weren't in a place of rest then no but 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 we spoke, spoke it, it and we declared it and and see see you can't wait you can't wait until things are the way you want them to be before you declare it that's right no we that's were in a place we were in a place back then where worry, fear, and stress was the norm. That's right. Amen. Mm -hmm. But we spoke according to the word of God. We spoke that this place will be a place of rest. Of rest. It, 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 it will be a place where, 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 all, where all of our needs are, are met, where, where, where we deliverance is always available to Hallelujah. us where, where peace always abounds to us Lord this, this to is this this was 14 years ago mm -hmm. this this is what we spoke mm -hmm. and it, we we spoke that that this place would be a place where where your life is not just uh, uh tolerated but your life is being enjoyed and the lord says now mm -hmm. today we are operating 
with the full manifestation of that blessing. Amen. Because we are in unified rest. We are in a place of unified rest. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And it's and it's and it's rest. Remember, it is rest that is founded upon uh founded upon the 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 promises of God. Mm -hmm. I, we, we can't go into all of that, right. it, it, but it was rest founded upon or established upon the presence of God. It is rest that is established upon the provision of God. Mm -hmm. And it is also rest that is found upon the peace, the peace of God. Yes. So what is God doing? Mm -hmm. He's telling us what we need to be speaking in this season that we're in. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. He, consider, consider. The, the 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 um the weather today mm -hmm. consider the weather today yeah. when 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 i heard when i heard yesterday when i heard yesterday about the the weather the tornadoes and all of that that they were expecting mm -hmm. first thing came out of my mouth was father i thank you right i thank you that it shall not come near me amen and and from that from that point forward in a place of rest, right? I really I ain't really worried about what's gonna happen with that weather. Right. And 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 what he is what he is saying to us is is this is what should be coming out of our mouths, mm -hmm. Father. With all of the confusion that is in That's this right. world, I thank you that you've given me rest. Hallelujah. I thank you, Father, that I operate from a place of rest. I rest because of your promises. Hallelujah. I rest, Father, because I realize that you are always with me. Mm -hmm. Father, I'm always in a place of rest because the peace of God that surpasses all understanding is mine. Hallelujah. Father, how can I not rest when you have provided everything that I need? He is telling us what to say. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. In the midst of everything that we see, in the midst of everything that is happening in this world, we as the new creations in Christ that are walking in the revelation of the power of the sword, mm -hmm. we should be saying what God has spoken. And God has spoken that we are people of unified rest. That's right. Hallelujah. One heart, we believe the same thing as it relates to the finished work. Yes. And a people of one soul. That's right. Our souls are at rest. Our souls are at rest. Hallelujah. One heart and one soul. Let's 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 just put the word rest. Come on, y'all. From Amen. this day forward. Because of the finished work. Because of the finished work. We are at rest. We are at, at rest. rest. Hallelujah. You need to declare that. Mm -hmm. You need to declare it Lord over your God. life that 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 my family is at rest. We are in a place yeah. where all of our trust, all of our confidence oh. is in the grace that is provided through the finished work of Jesus Christ. Oh. We're in a place where, where there is no fear. There, there is no worry. No there, fear. there is no stress. No worry, Hallelujah. No stress. I thank you, Father, that, that, that I don't have fear because you are with me. Amen. See, that's rest based upon or established upon the presence of God. Mm -hmm. Father, I don't I don't have stress because you are my provision. That's rest based upon the provision of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Father, you know, I got a lot going on here. I got some bills that's that's coming at me, but but I'm 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 at rest because because you are my peace. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So so come on y'all. And your will will be done in my life. Hallelujah. So 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 go ahead and 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 declare it. Speak it. He's he's equipping us. He's telling us Lord what we need to speak in this season. Hallelujah. While the world is in a state of unrest, mm -hmm. we the new creations should be speaking rest. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can y'all see that? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So 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 all of this is connected. Yeah. All of this is is connected. All of it is connected. He he he's he he he's feeding us. He's letting us know that 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 the glory of God is upon us. He's letting us know the rest of God is upon us. And 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 then then we start dealing with the prayer. Mm -hmm. We 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 he 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 talked Ever to us so about good. the glory. Yeah. 
He talked, he, he talked to us about the blessing. Mm -hmm. And then he started dealing with us about the prayer. Okay. And 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 um in the prayer, in the prayer, we 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 won't go through all of this, but but in the prayer, um uh Solomon Solomon made 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 a, a, a specific request in um in verse number 20 mm -hmm. of the sixth chapter. He he said, This is what Solomon said. He said that your eyes may be open toward this temple day and night, toward the place where you said you would put your name, that you may hear the prayer which your servant makes toward this place, and may, he, may you hear the supplications of your servant and your people Israel. Mm -hmm. When they pray toward this place, hear from heaven, this was his request, mm -hmm. hear from heaven your dwelling place, and when you hear, forgive. Amen. Now we already know that we're already forgiven. Yeah. I, I'm not even going to deal with that. Right. But 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 what Solomon was praying for was was answered prayer. Answered prayer. He was saying he was saying, look, when somebody prays from this place, he said he said, hear from heaven. He said, when 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 they pray from this place, hear their prayers. And we all know. That, that if we know that he hears us, we know that we already have mm -hmm. whatever posi po uh, petition we, we, we desired of him. That's right. So, so, so he's, he's saying Solomon was praying for answered prayers. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and this is a part of what I prayed 21 days for in um, 14 years ago, mm -hmm. answered prayers. Mm -hmm. I asked, I said, Father, when the people of God in this house, when they pray, hear them, not just hear them, but 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 answer, give them what Amen. they desire Amen. according to your word. And 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 um, the Lord says, Amen. the Lord says, everything that we spoke, everything I, I, I declared, now it. I declared it. Elder Ruffin will tell you, I declared <laughs> it that that this place will be a house oh, of, oh, answered oh, oh, of answered prayers. And the Lord says, right now, right. that's in full manifestation. This is there. <laughs> this is there. Yeah, because you have taught us how to pray. According to the to, word. According to the word. And, and even, even more important than, even more oh, important than that. prayers. Even more important than, than being taught how to pray, you, you know, because, because it, it's, it's, you know, that that's that's getting into the specifics and getting into a place where we're taking our prayer life to a whole nother level. Mm. But but with with the reason our prayers are answered is not because we've been taught how to pray. It's because we see that the judgment, the fire of God's judgment that should have fallen on us mm -hmm. has already fallen on Jesus, our sacrifice. Amen. And because we see that, that, that judgment has fallen on Jesus, our mm -hmm. sacrifice, mm -hmm. which causes us now to be sin free and righteous in the eyes of God. That's why our prayers are answered because the prayers of the righteous are always heard. Are always heard. Yes. Indeed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Can y'all see that? That's right. So, so you know, because so, because even you know, sometimes, sometimes you know, you can be in situations, you can be in situations where you know things get so tight, so tough, and 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 um, you forget all about prosuka maya <laughs> deasis. You forget all about all that stuff, right? And you just cry out, Lord, help me. <laughs> you you with me? Amen. But when you do that. Right. understanding that I am the righteousness of God right. because Jesus took all my judgment. Now, when I cry out, Lord, help me. Mm -hmm. uh, that wasn't no prosuka maya. You know, that was deasis. That was helping. You right. know, that, that was making a request. That's but right. when, when, I, when I cry like that, mm -hmm. it's not pretty, but it'll be effective. That's right. He'll answer it's it. It's coming from a place of understanding that you are righteous. Right. And that this righteous judgment that was mentioned is the judgment that Jesus experienced in and through his death. Right? We're righteous because of his finished work. Yeah. Yeah. I, I guess that's that's the next 
<laughs> do I have time? We don't have, we got four more minutes. The time went quick. It did. The time went quick, y'all. Hey, y'all did y'all speed up the clock on us? <laughs> hey, man. Because one, one other thing, we're we gonna talk about this. Um, and 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 um and and then we'll shut it down since you mentioned it. You don't want to mention righteous judgment. Amen. Amen. You just explained righteous judgment. Well, 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 did I? I thought you did. Go ahead. So what well, else do you well, want to well, say about righteous judgment? Well, no, back see, see, back then, mm -hmm. back then, you know, we, we said we said um we said we prayed first of all that the house would be a place of answered prayer. Yes. Then we said we prayed that the house would be a place of, of, of righteous judgment. And, and we prayed that we prayed that based upon, um, uh, uh second Chronicles chapter six, verse 23, yeah. where it says, then hear from heaven and act and judge your servants, bringing retribution on the wicked mm -hmm. by bringing his wicked, his wicked, by bringing his, his way on his own head and justifying the righteous by giving him according to his righteousness. Now, now when I when I when I prayed that, when I prayed that um uh, 14 years ago. 14 years ago. He said that like like I know. I mean I know I look right. numbers are significant. Right. When, 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 um, when, when, when I, yeah, when, when when I prayed that prayer 14 years ago. And I declare, I declare that y'all, I was, I was bold too. I declared, I declared that our house would be a house of righteous judgment. Yes. And because I was operating with an old covenant mentality, my thoughts were, I said that, that this righteous judgment, it would be that in our house, you won't be able to mishandle people and God not deal with it. No, I, I, I made the statement that in this house, wickedness won't go unpunished and righteousness won't go unrewarded. Now, that really sounds good. It does. When, when I said it, we shouted off you back know, then. I know, I know we did. I know I did. But the Lord the Lord said to me, son, that's not what I was talking about. That's the old covenant. He said the righteous judgment that I'm talking about, please hear this, y'all, and we're done. He said, the righteous judgment that I'm talking about is this. He says that in this house, he said, because, well, no, no, let me say it correct. He says, in this house, any individual that puts their faith in the finished work of Jesus, no matter what mistake they make, because their faith has been placed in Jesus, they will be judged as righteous. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. He said, Come on, y'all. Come on. He says that no matter what mistake you make, That's right. because your faith has been put in the finished work of Jesus, he says you will always be judged as righteous. Doctrine of imputation. I'm sorry. The doctrine of imputation. The doctrine of imputation. He, yeah. he takes all of our sin, put it on Jesus, takes all of his righteousness and put it on us. But now, now here's here's the key. Here's the key because he says, he says that in, in Solomon, in Solomon's prayer, Solomon says that 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 um you would bring retribution on the wicked by bringing his way on his own head. And, and and he says, and you will justify the righteous by giving him according to his right. This is what the Lord said to me. The Lord said to me, when we put our, see that word wicked, don't, don't let that word wicked throw you. That word wicked just simply means the guilty. The guilty, that's all that word means, the guilty. And, and, and before you start judging anybody else, all of us are guilty, hallelujah, apart from Jesus Christ. Apart from Jesus Christ, all of us were guilty. And, and what he says is, he says that, that even when we are guilty, he says, because we have put our faith in Jesus, even though we are guilty, our guiltiness or our wickedness will not be punished on our head, but the wickedness or the guilt or the violation has been now punished on Jesus' head. 
And because our punishment has been punished on Jesus' head, what that does is therefore it makes us righteous. So even though we made the mistake, the punishment goes on Jesus' head, we are made righteous, and because we have made righteous, even though we made a mistake, we now receive the reward of the righteous. Come on, y'all, that's a good deal. That's a great deal. Because, because, because. And that's the more accurate explanation of life. That, that is the true, that is the true definition of righteous judgment. Our house is a house of righteous judgment. Not, not a house where God gonna get you. No, a house where because our faith is in the finished work of Jesus, all of us are judged as righteous. Hallelujah. Yeah. No, I'm not touching that. I'm not touching that. What do you mean by that? Explain that. Our faith is in the faith of Jesus. You know, I don't always do a complete though. Again. Okay. Our faith is in the faith. All right. Um. We're righteous. Amen. We're righteous. Our faith is in the finished work of Jesus Christ. Now, I want to confuse people. Our faith is in the finished work of Jesus Christ. Let's let's do it like that. Let's keep it right there. Amen. Amen. So so so, what has He done by declaring of uh, righteous judgment? He has given us the words to say in this season. Because all of us mess up. All of us say things, do things, think things that we shouldn't have thought, said, or done. And he is letting us know, I declare according to your word, that even though I failed, I am still yet judged righteous in your eyes. I thank you that you are continually hearing my prayers because I am the righteousness of God created in Christ Jesus. That's who you are. That's who you are. And because your faith is in Jesus, that's who you'll always be. Hallelujah. I think you need to just stop right there. Amen. We, we, we'll pick this up next week because we're going to finish. We're going to finish the prayer. We're going to finish dealing with the prayer this upcoming, this upcoming week. We're going to finish dealing with that. And um, then we'll come back. We'll come back next week. Uh, on on this platform, and we'll we'll talk about we'll talk about those, those the remaining uh, five uh, things that were that were declared through this prayer that are now in full manifestation right here Amen. in our midst. And we, hallelujah, hallelujah, and we should be able to confirm that it's true because we're experiencing. Oh, we, we we're seeing it. Right. We're seeing it on a daily basis, yeah. and we we of course are excited excited about that Amen. listen listen family this this of course is the month of um of april this is shepherd's month Amen. shepherd's month of course we're not you know we're not doing something every week and all of that we're just we're going to have one day one day where we sit back and thank god uh, uh for for how um uh how my wife and i have been a blessing to you guys um, over the years, uh, I always thank you for, for how you all are blessed to us. But yes. you know, the Bible says the Bible says that that when you receive a prophet in the name of a prophet, you'll receive a prophet's reward. The Bible says that um, he says that the, the elder that that rules well uh, should be counted worthy of a double honor, especially those who labor in the word yes. and who yes. labor in doctrine. Yes. So um, on this fourth Sunday, the 28th, we're going to celebrate our 21st pastoral anniversary. And um, I'm inviting all of you. I know some of you, you're normally uh, online. Uh, but if in fact, if in fact you could, then do, do me a favor. I, I don't ask much. I don't ask much from the people of God. But it would bless my heart. It really would. It would bless my heart to just see your face. Uh, on that fourth Sunday in the house of God. If you can't make it, that's fine as well. You, of course, 
then make sure that you're on our virtual platform. Amen. So excited because I was in prayer asking God, um, who should we have? Who should we have to minister the word of grace? And um, it was crazy Amen. because when I was praying, the Lord, I'm praying and the Lord put my daughter's face, my daughter's face before Better. me. And um, I said, okay, God, I mean, you you, you know it better than I did, better than I do. You you made her, you know it better. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I'm excited. I'm excited. Uh, my daughter, amen. She's going to be amazing. She's going to be amazing. Amen. She is, she is truly a woman of grace. And um, the hand of the Lord is upon her life. And uh, she's going to press up tremendously on that, on that fourth Sunday. So make sure. Make sure that you're in the, in the house of the Lord. Amen. It, it, it's going to be a tremendous, a tremendous celebration. One other thing, one other thing I want to mention. Um, one of our, one of our young, one of our young family members. She blessed my heart so much. Um, she did this last year. This is her second year doing this. She's asked us now to be a part of it. Look, uh, young sister uh, Maya, Maya Morris. She's a 21 year old student. Student um, in Baton Rouge at Southern University, okay. Southern University in Baton Rouge, and she's holding um, a clothing drive, a, a clothing. She's she's doing clothes and um, and 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 hygiene bags for the homeless. Okay. Yeah, and she she's asked she's asked her church family to be a part of that to you know to bring um, you or or gently use clothes of any size, any sizes that that you have. Just bring those clothes. We're gonna have a drop off. We're gonna have a place where you can drop it off um, in the sanctuary beginning on this Sunday. Um, you know, some stuff, y'all go in your closet. I'm sure you're gonna find some things that you're not using. Let's donate this um, to Sister Maya so she can be a blessing to the homeless in the Baton Rouge community. See, see, this is another example. This is just another example of, of, of how how the Lord has shifted, how He has shifted even even our function as a community church. Right? Because because at one time we the church Beacon Light was doing it all. Right? Now the idea had to come up with everything. The idea, the, but now we have individuals. Oh, God is putting it in their spirit. Amen. And now we don't have to do it all, but we can support those who are doing it. And and, and it's all about, we don't need to worry about get the glory as long as the glory is going to God. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, so come on, family. Let's support. Let's support Maya. And um, let's start bringing those clothes on this Sunday. Um, we have this Sunday and also next Sunday for the next the next couple of weeks we'll be able to do that and um, I, I just I just think that it's amazing that a college student wants to be a blessing to the homeless. Amen. Amen. And it's reaching a whole different demographic than where that we're assigned. Yeah. Because I'm sure we're gonna bring them I think, I think we need to, we need yeah but we need to reach out we need to reach out to um to Pastor Williams. Uh, a lady Irish in Baton Rouge. I bet they can. I bet they can collect some clothes for her too. As well, amen. Yeah, we, we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that too. We're gonna do that. Maya, we got your back. All and right, um, great job. We we are so so godly proud of you. Continue to do what it is you're doing. And and of course, um, we we thank God today for um our graceful gift back, graceful yes. gift back. Our partnership with Second Harvest went for today. God is so amazing. Y'all do not know what the weather was like today, but 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 the Lord, the Lord, it was raining early. The Lord shut the rain down <laughs> just in time for us to give out the food. And right when it was finishing up, <laughs> the rain came back again. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Our God is amazing, y'all. He is amazing. And, we, and, and we, we, we were able, we were able to, to provide food today for 120 families. 
120 families. Amen. So again, uh, Elder Bobby, you and your team, job well done. Amen. We're so godly Amen. proud of you all. And then of Amen. course, our intercessors, you all are amazing all the time Amen. and all the time you are amazed. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Listen, listen, we're, we're, we're just about done. I do want to encourage those of you who um, may not have been in the house of the Lord on this past Sunday. I want to encourage you to sow into the kingdom of God. Even if you were there Sunday, you can still sow again on tonight. Um, you can text to give by texting BLOH on BLOHT. 28950 uh, dollar sign BL Homer for our cash app. www.beaconlighthome is the, um, the website, and then 4325 West Park Avenue, Great Louisiana 70359 is the mailing address. Make sure you so see. And if in fact you did not on this past Sunday, so your your um, uh, one your Psalm 133 covenant partner seed. You need to take care of that as well. Either $133, $13.30, $1.33. It's not about the amount. It's about the agreement. And God says, no lack. No lack. We'll get in on it. Get in. It. Well, the truth of the matter is, if you're a member of our, our family, you're already in on it. Hallelujah. We just, we just, need, we just need to agree. We just need to agree. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What, what else we got, man? That's it. Family, we love you guys. You guys are amazing. This Sunday, 9 a.m., we're going to be in the house of the Lord. And I know, I know, he's already said that our house, it is a place where his glory, it doesn't just come and go, but the glory of the Lord abides in that house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I look forward. I look forward to working with you guys on this Sunday. And um, even though even those of you who may not be able to get there, make sure you're on the virtual platform because there is no time nor space in the spirit realm. Amen. 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 Thank you guys for connecting with us. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Come on, y'all. Lady Andrew that went over 15 whole minutes. Amen. Bye -bye. Amen. Amen. Listen, guys, we're out of here. We'll see you Amen. on Sunday at um, 9 a.m. Hallelujah. And enjoy the rest of your night. Be blessed. Stay strong. And remember, don't fight for victory. We stand. We rest. We are in a place of victory. God bless you, family. Enjoy the victory that the Lord has already given unto us. Amen. Good night, everybody.